Hey guys, Chris Cards here. I am on a journey today to find me some of those 2020 Top Series 1 tins, uh, specifically one with Pete Alonso on it. There's absolutely none in my local Walmart in Albany. Unfortunately, the next, all, the next Walmart is about a half hour away in Lebanon, Oregon. So I called up the store in Lebanon and I said, hey, you guys have Topps baseball cards there? And I'm specifically looking for the tin. And she said, let me transfer you to customer service desk. And the lady up there is like, uh, yeah, we have Topps baseball cards. I'm like, well, do you have the tin? She's like, well, yeah, I don't know. I can't leave customer service. I'm the only person here. Um, I'm like, well, I'm about a half hour away driving, so is there any way you can find someone that could just go look for me real quick to save me the time and the trip? And she said, no, sorry, click. So that was that conversation. I'm almost there, but I'm about halfway there now, so thankfully it's a nice day, sun's out, I get to look at some cows and stuff. Uh, it's a nice, pretty drive, but uh, kind of annoyed. But uh, the quest is on. A uh, good thing about Lebanon is a small town. It might not be hit by the baseball card guys. All right, guys, here we are. There is the lady I spoke to over there. So she seems busy. But the cards are right around the corner. And we do not have any tins. We've got some tops. Series 1 down there. You can see where they're supposed to go. It says $14.99 over there on the corner. Here's another Walmart. Same thing, no dice, nothing hiding back there. So, strike two. All right guys, for whatever reason I got it in my mind. I heard somewhere on YouTube that these boxes, these tins were Walmart exclusives. Which are available only at your local Walmart. So I should have known better and looked, did my own research and I didn't, so. Let's try, uh, let's try this here Target in Salem, Oregon and uh, see what we can find. Oh man, sweet. There you go, Joe. All right guys, mission accomplished. I was able to pick up a few tins, including the sought after Pete Alonso tin for my PC. Just gonna open up one of these guys. See if we can pull anything interesting out of it. If you guys haven't seen these before, you can kind of get an idea on what they are, of course. Um, I edited the video down to quite a bit. I probably stopped at about 10 different Walmarts and Targets before I found that, so I'm sure you guys didn't want to see my failure over and over again, but I was pretty excited when I finally found these guys. There you go. 75 cards per tin, one exclusive chrome decades best insert, five turkey red cards, so one chrome turkey red card. And here we go guys, let's check these out. It's a thick stack of cards for $14.99 or... Here we go. Hope you guys are having a great day, great weekends, uh, keeping social distancing a priority. Things are cool here in Oregon so far, but there's Michael Conforto. So I found these about two weeks ago before the whole coronavirus hit, so I was not looking for these during uh, any sort of quarantine, so... Don't yell at me for being out shopping. I haven't uh, pretty much gone anywhere in a couple days now, but there's Tommy Edmond. He's one of the guys that signed through the mail for me. I'm going to put that to the side. I don't have a lot of the newer players, the newer cards to send out through the mail. So if I got a success and I find another card, I'm going to pull it to the side. There's Glaber, Garrett Cole. But I was pretty excited when I found the tins. I bought all the tins. Sent a couple off in care packages. That's pretty sweet right there. Nice horizontal shot. There's a sweet Ricky Henderson card. Here's our Turkey Reds. Devers. Rendon. Posey. 
Hoskins, and Aaron Judge. Sweet. There's a Guerrero Jr. Not done yet. No easy out. There's a Decades Best of Jeff Bagwell. What are these cards? I should know and be relaying this information to you, but I do not know. And here is our Decades Best Chrome right here. Next is our Turkey Red Chrome, and that's going to be Pool Holes. Really? Two Blake Trining cards in a row? That is a gold out of 2020. Pretty weird there. The gold is quite subtle there on the side. It looks more like brown to me, but... Just in case, there's the gold in the regular version. There's Matt Barnes. Let's flip these over and keep going. Matt Barnes. You guys in your homes watching this? Are you guys still working? Let me know. I, uh, I have a couple of restaurants, and uh, so far so good, although I just got um, an email today from some employees that have elderly, they live with older folks, and so they're not going to be able to make it in until after this is over with, so I kind of figured this would start happening. So I got to go into work tonight and um, going to keep it going as long as I can. But I mean, if your employees can't make it to work, I mean, it's impossible to uh, probably hire right now. So I'm just going to have to do what I got to do to keep it going as long as I can. And we just only do delivery and takeout. So, I mean, no problem there, but I can't imagine, I mean, if this gets any worse, restaurants being open for much longer. Well, not great as far as cards are concerned. Manny being Manny. That that's uh that's Ramirez, not Machado, but I guess he can have it too. I guess anybody named Manny can be can use that slogan. Zach Wheeler now on the Phillies. And that's it guys. I gotta tell you man, uh kind of not very exciting base cards, just not not very good. Uh, not not very, not much luck with the base cards. But turkey red cards. So uh, we can't go out like that. Let's open up another tin here. Let's open up the Vlad Junior tin. Let's see who we can get out of this pile of cards. What the heck? Why not? Gonna run the video past the ten minute mark, but uh, I I got nothing better to do today, so I might as well uh, open up some more cards. See if we can get anybody desirable out of here. Any of the rookies that we're chasing. There's a Melky Cabrera. There's Shohei Otani. Was looking forward to seeing him again this year, both pitching and hitting. Jack Flaherty. There's Steven Matz. All right. Matz team card. Minnesota Twins team card. So let me know if you guys have found these anywhere, these tins. Let me know if you found them at Walmart, because uh, I don't know. I just can't find them at Walmart at all. Oh, that's a good card. Ken Griffey Jr., Decades Best. Super cool. And we are coming up on our Turkey Red cards. There's a Max Kepler. Yelich, Turkey Red. Chris Davis, Turkey Red. There's Kikuchi. Soto. Oh, sweet. Bo Bichette, Turkey Red rookie card. Nice. Looks good. All right, there we go. Glad I opened up another one now. That's a good. This is a good pack to end on. Just, just him alone right there. Here's a couple of these Blad cards, probably retail exclusives. Our Chrome is um, Puig, who is still a free agent, I think. I just haven't been following baseball. I mean, I've I've ignored it. I don't go to MetsBlog.com. Speaking of which, there's Pete Alonso. I don't do all the stuff I usually do because I just I just can't think about it. It's just upsetting. I mean, everything's upsetting right now, but that's that's also upsetting. So, don't want to hear about. Um, I just I got to put it out of my mind, basically. All right, Bo Bichette base rookie. All right, got both of them, and I like Bo Bichette. There's a Tatis Gold Cup card. Tim Anderson, your American League um, batting title champion winner last year. There's Chappie, the A's. Tyler Flowers. 
Tyler O'Neill, another guy that signed through the mail for me this spring. Super cool. Max Muncy, who yelled at everybody for sending to his home for TTMs. Although I think he signed, I think he signed a bunch there. So I mean, if you don't want people to send to your home, don't sign and return the cards. That is a positive reaffirmation that you are going to accept TTMs at your home. I'm not sure I used the word reaffirmation there properly. That's fine. I like this card right here. Bo and Kevin Biggio. Super cool. Kevin, not a rookie, so there's no rookie badge on that. But there you go, guys. Ending on that one. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Hope you guys uh, organize your cards. Uh, let me know what you guys plan on doing with uh, your free time. I've been uh, setting up uh, my garden outside. I'm gonna put some plants in there. I'm gonna. I got a bee. I got a big bee thing I bought at Costco. Um, actually, I didn't. My buddy Russell got it for me. Um, it's bee and butterfly little house thing. I'm gonna set that up and put some flowers around it. So. Oh, these turkey red cards are a bitch to get in there. I don't want to ding the corners on there. I've, I've dinged a few corners putting them in penny sleeves, so. These thicker, thicker cards uh, that are not that glossy, they seem like you can really nick a corner on them in a penny sleeve, so. Put these guys away. Um, I'll, I'm going to try and uh, throw out another video out to you this weekend, but with work uh, being what it is, I'm not sure uh, what to expect there, but thanks, guys, for watching. Um, hope everyone's Netflixing and... and Amazon priming and, and doing uh, doing productive things clean out that garage I'll be cleaning out my garage uh, this weekend I hope and uh, just make the best of a bad situation guys um, I love you all hope you're all safe I miss uh, uh, Ricky Russo I'm thinking about him he's in the hospital right now I have not heard from him he should have been out of the hospital by now so uh, thinking of him I emailed him as well did not get a response so uh, all sorts of stuff to think about, guys. So uh, I got mail day videos to do. I've got auction. I got an auction video to do. I went a bunch of auction purchases and uh, did a video for that. I got mails. I got mail from uh, Scotty Arania, Chad Hopkins, Joe Yankee. Uh, some awesome care packages I got to show off. Uh, pretty stoked about. And um, I'm, I opened a, a few up around Christmas time. I haven't even done the video yet, so I, I got to do those. Just lagging behind, guys, but uh, I got no excuse now. I did a bunch of eye racing yesterday. I had a good time. I, I should have done this video yesterday, and I'm doing it today, but I was, like, having a lot of fun racing online, so I did that. That was fun. Um, I do a lot of... I, I capture a lot of the uh, races, uh, but they're all private, so I just kind of capture them just to have them on in case I want to look back at something or whatever, but pretty neat that I can use YouTube as basically a huge DVR for my, my racing, but... Uh, did a lot of racing yesterday. That was fun. Um, you know, just, you know, I got lots of video games on Steam. I'm not much of a gamer. I uh, used to be, of course, but, you know, life life happens and you stop, you know. You only got four or five things that you, uh, you know, you really, you're really passionate about. And then you only have time to do one or two of those things. You really have to narrow things down to uh, what's really important to you. And, uh, you know, the YouTube videos are, of course, important to me. Uh, baseball stuff. Everything baseball related is super important to me. My TTMs, of course. So... And everything else kind of falls by the wayside. Uh, like to like to watch my uh, YouTube channels, the guys I like to watch, and um, all that stuff. So I've rambled on long enough, guys. It's uh, almost two o'clock. I got to get ready for work. I'm gonna get this up as soon as I can. Uh, take care out there, guys. Be safe. And um, I uh, I also got that 2011. Um, let's see, it's back there somewhere in my pile of boxes. I got that 2011 Allen and Ginter to open up. I got two more boxes of um, Heritage to open up 2020. I was thinking of doing a break. Um, Inception is coming out here in uh, today. Today, Inception's out. I was going to buy a case of Inception. 16 boxes per case. Cost me about $65 per case. I'm not sure if shipping is included or not. Um, I think it's free shipping. I was wondering, I was thinking maybe of doing a break, seeing if I could, I mean, even if I don't sell out all 16 spots, I would just keep the I would keep the rest of the boxes for myself. So if I sold out like eight or nine, I'd just keep, you know, five or six boxes for myself. So, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a break as well. Um, I've got some ideas on how to do a, a really cool break. Um, there's only, what, seven cards per box, so it'd be a pretty quick break and easy to do. I think it'd be a lot of fun, chance just to hang out, talk to you guys, and uh, if I could sell some spots, I'm just not sure how to sell them, if I do it through PayPal, um, 
you know, the whole logistics of it. I'm not a breaker, but I would like to do one every now and then. So I think if I could do a really good break, maybe once a month, I think that'd be a lot of fun and uh, not commit to anything more than that because I probably couldn't keep up. So one break a month, like an, an awesome product that comes out. I think that'd be sweet. Um, let me know what you guys think of that. Um, I'm not sure what I would charge for that $65 a box. I wouldn't want to make any money on it, but I would love to cover my cost at least. Um, $65 plus shipped, um, plus I would use a lot of materials, um, probably um, one touches and all that stuff. Those are about a little over a buck a piece. So just thinking in my head what I would charge for it so I wouldn't be, you know, losing my ass on it, but uh, breaking even. And then, of course, uh, you know, every time I see a break, I'm like, well, I could just I could just buy that box for X amount of dollars and open it myself. Why would I want someone else to do it? So there's that sort of factor along with um, other people handling my cards and maybe not getting them in the best condition, which has happened before in breaks. So anyways, just kicking that idea around, just thinking of other ideas. I don't know, guys. Um, just, just a bummer. Just trying not to think too much about stuff. Um, don't yell at me for looking for tins. Like I said, I, I looked at this this all these all this video stuff took place like two weeks ago and the world was a different place two weeks ago so actually it was probably about a month ago i did that all the videos so just put them all together today on friday uh and sharing them with you guys sorry for rambling and uh hopefully you guys are are safe and well out there and uh, i'll see you again this weekend with another video i got some other ttm videos i want to do i got some celebrity ttm videos i should do some racing ttm so i got to get going on all that stuff and get that stuff out there so if you guys are bored maybe you've uh You've got time to watch a few uh, extra videos from Chris Cards. I, I plan on throwing them out there. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Hope you all have a great weekend and stay safe out there.